Hello, hello. I have no idea where we're going today. It's gonna be a total surprise to me. I'm not wearing this shirt, which has oatmeal on it for my breakfast because it does. All I know is my face is clean and moisturized and I'm gonna go on ahead and get my concealer face going. Cause I don't know what's happening today. It was a long morning. I'd say this video would be more AM, ASMR than anything, but I'm probably going to talk a lot still, even though I don't really know what I'm going to talk about. Good to go. no inspiration today. I want to do something different that I haven't done in a while. I've done a lot of purple and pink and green. So I haven't done anything blue in a while. I've done like turquoise. Let's do some blue. What does Whitney have that has blue? Is there anything in Sweet Oasis? Mm, turquoise. Or blue-green. Your, your choice. What you want to call Oh. I'm going to open this one. Ooh, well, it has some blue, but again, more blue, green, turquoise. Green. And this is the one I was actually trying to get to, which is all blue. So we're going to go with this one. And stand up straight. Pull out. Stunning Vibes, the 35V, I think. Yeah, 35V. All right, so this has been a Morphe week, except yesterday was mostly Pat McGrath, I believe. I kind of feel like just the way things have worked out, I've used more Pat McGrath in the, the winter because it's more dark tones. And then use more Morphe in the spring and summer because it's Got more colors even though I still wear a lot of colors I don't know I don't know what's happening I know I need a brush I don't want that one or that one I need to buy some more brushes like obviously I have plenty but I would really like some more of the fluffy brushes from Moda that I like so much got my Harry Potter magic wand brush I guess we'll use this today Right, I'm using the 35A Blue Yet Away palette. I'm starting with these two colors for my transition. Or no, these two colors for my transition. zero idea where this is going to go. We'll see if I can even do it in my 20 minutes. See if we get a full look. I'm going to pick up just a little bit of the darker brown that's in here to just kind of deepen that crease a little bit. Baby blue. Packing it on pretty densely. And I'm start the opposite way of how I normally start by going over my lid. Mostly because I'm probably going to do this several times throughout the course of this to really build up that color. Probably should have gone in with a white base. Might have helped, but too late now. I 
Alright, blue dump. <sighs> really don't want to use this one again. I want to kind of keep a neutral fluffy brush. So I'm going to come in here and find this elf brush and we'll make it work. I'm going to take this kind of bright blue now. I think it might have just like a teeny tiny bit of shimmer to it, but not a lot. If I knew I was going to do blue, which I mean, I guess I did when I thought about it, I've got my juvious place. Oh, Lori, too. Oh, so much blue. In fact, I might end up coming into this one a little bit. See what we need. All right. Oh, I thought of something I can talk about. My niece is coming to visit me from halfway across the country. She lives in Kansas. I live in Georgia. And she's going to be here in a little less than a month for a whole seven-day week. I am so excited. We're going to do some really fun stuff while she's here. She can get to play with her cousins. And that's going to be fun. And we are just going to have a great time. I am really excited to have her here to visit. Because I get to kind of cut loose and pretend I'm young again for a while. I'm just coming in with some of the dark matte blue, that bright blue from the Alori 2 palette, just to brighten this all up a little bit. Don't hate it. I'm trying to decide what to do with my lid. I'm gonna use my finger on some of that light blue and see if I can just brighten it up a bit. Get a little better coverage than with a brush. I really wish I had a really light blue shimmer. And you know what? I might. I just might. McGrath Bridgerton palette. This one actually shows up pretty blue. Take a little bit on here. Oh yeah, again, can't really see it on camera, but it's adding a nice amount of sparkle to that light blue that I've got in place. Hooray! Didn't even need that Stunning Vibes palette. Alright, so let's do some eyeliner. I think I'm going to attempt a liquid liner today. Put these brushes up. Shove those out of the way. This one might be running dry. The tip's a little. Didn't turn out that bad. I'm 
just not good at this. I've been trying for years, but I never really take the time to practice. And then, you know, when you only use it once every three or four weeks, you're not really getting much. I think I've just convinced myself that I can't do liquid liner very well. And therefore, I don't do liquid liner very well, and I just kind of quit trying to get better. Although I am getting better. I mean, I don't practice a lot. Some practice does make perfect. I can already tell I'm going to need to tight line a little bit. Seriously? No. I'm looking for that Pat McGrath Permit Gel. And I'm literally pulling out every eyeshadow or eyeliner that is not Pat McGrath Permit Gel. Oh, I'm just going to get under the lash line. Oh yeah. Okay. Nailed it. Mascara time. A big pink on my mascara wand. Oh, I think maybe it might be the wand itself underneath the mascara, maybe. I don't know. Anyways, get this on. I'll do blue on the bottom, just for fun. Nobody's going to be able to see it or notice it. But I'll know it's there and it will make me happy. Contacts are about at the end of their life. I have one pair left I need to swap into, but I also need to get into the eye doctor so I can get more ordered. There we go with that. And blue. So the Pat McGrath Dark Star Mascara has this huge brush. Another reason I, what I said in my last video, I need to order some blanks. I call them blank spoolies, just some individual spoolies. This is a little hard for me to do on my bottom row, but if I could pull some off onto a smaller brush, I might be more successful and get it less all over the place. I can see it, and I can notice it, but definitely not visible to the casual observer. All right. I don't even know what's happening at this point. I'm gonna get a wipe and clean my finger off from where I filled it up with liner. And then find a clean spot and just 
dab a little under my eyes to pick up the fallout from my eyeshadow. I don't want to rub too hard because I don't want to rub off my moisturizer sunscreen. I'm going to use the foundation again to just clean up under my eyes. Find the right brush. A little dabble booyah. Done and done. Let's get our Fit Me powder out here. The Maybelline. All right, we got time to do a little brow action. Done. I'm not even going to bother to brush those. Let's get a little blush. I'm going to use Plum from Maybelline. I really like their Fit Me line, if you hadn't noticed. This is another on camera day, so. Go a little bit heavy. The lighting in my basement is very fluorescent and I'm very unforgiving. All right, we still got a couple minutes, so I'll be doing something with this hair eventually. Maybe, I don't know, I kind of like it today. Just as is, I'll probably add a little bit of spray to it for texture and call it a day. But we do want some lip. Typically, if I went with a blue eye, I'd still go with a red lip just because that's how I roll. I think I might go with pink today. This is a CoverGirl Exhibitionist Ultra Matte. I have no idea how long I've had this. I have maybe worn it once. But the color is number 640 Thrill Seeker. Need some pink. Probably a little bit too much with the blue eye, but I've never claimed it to be subtle. I actually kind of like it. Probably be a little more matte if I hadn't just put lip balm on under it, but it feels nice and I like the color. All right, here we are today. Have a wonderful day. See you next time. Goodbye.